What is up guys? Welcome back to another vlog of a vlog. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> is this vlogging or are you actually recording? I'm recording. All right. Anyways, we're doing the movie. I guess you, could, you guys can tell. You guys gonna get some behind the scenes shit first. You know, we're doing the, putting the white body on, finally. So, yeah. I'm not ready to cut this up yet, but <laughs> kind of scared, but it's better than this. Tell you that, it's better than all this shit. This is all gonna go bye bye. I mean, Billy could bondle this real quick, you know? Like he bondled his, his Civic. You know, he could bondle this nice and smooth. You He'll fix it and then we'll and then we'll wrap it over it. If you, know? you if you grab my ass like this and like squeeze it, I'll do it for you. Right. I bet. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys, uh get a thumbs up if you guys are ready to see this fucking wide body gone because I've been lagging on it super hard, but here we are, you know, two months later after I got it, but we're about to do it. We're about to start cutting. The first thing first I'm um Take that little panel off from the front, and then I'm gonna start taping up where I gotta cut. I'm not gonna cut too far up in the rears because, like I said, there's two metal pieces on it. So, um, what I might be doing is cutting up like in slits and then just folding it in, like so. Just because you know I don't have any like, uh, what's it called? Uh, semen sealer. <laughs> what's it called? A fucking sorry, I'm throwing the blank. What's it called? Semen. No. Well, anyway, sealant that goes in there so no water goes in here, and blah blah, and no rust. And in the front, I'm just gonna straight up cut it because it's just one little tiny fender. It's not too like overlapping like those. So I'm gonna do that, and then, like I said, I'm gonna tape it up, take those off, and then start cutting. All right, guys, let's get to it. I guess Billy's being the eggplant photographer. <laughs> this looks so wrong in so many ways. <laughs> He's not telling me the battery's there. I'll oh, disconnect it. That's scary. Yeah, that's how like it. batteries? Are you guys trying to look for his no. wiener or something? No. You guys looking for his wiener? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looks like. Can't find it. Can't find it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the eggplant in the eggplant. <laughs> Can't find the hole. <laughs> it's too tight. Yeah, Billy, you have a tight vagina. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it matches your car, full. <laughs> Does it go over my head or no? No. Just like that. And make it <laughs> I am so confused. <laughs> How does this go? I look like Barney. He's gotta wait till it fucking inflates. Also, the hook of the batteries. Yeah, hey, you look like Felicia when she was nine months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go do a broadcast? <laughs> <laughs> look, you're like a fucking eggplant. Yeah. What look is that? I thought it would go up. It is. It will go up. Because the fans have a slip and the batteries are dead. Oh, I see how it goes now. Okay. <laughs> I thought it would be straight up and down. <laughs> Babe. Oh, she left. <laughs> What's up? Hey. You talking shit? You talking shit? <laughs> Damn, how many months, fool? 10 months? No. <laughs> Can you drive in that? That'd be a little funny, he just walks out the car like that. 
Here, let me, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in, I'll drive around, I'll get out, and I'll start the move. Oh, man. It's an eggplant. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm done one fender. <laughs> Kinda. I still gotta fix this. I gotta put something behind it to where it kinda like stays flush with the side skirt. I saw in Beast for Bill, same issue, you know. He had this big ass gap. So I don't know if you go down like this. Can't do that. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna do washers and uh, bolts, but it looked like fucking. It looked like a truck with the wide body with those big ass bolts. So I just do the bolts only, and it looks a lot better. Was there a big space? Because it's hitting the headlight. So this is gonna be. There's a gap right here because of the headlight. There's a bracket that goes in there. So I'm gonna have to either cut this bolt. Somehow, or get a smaller one. Probably gonna get a smaller one, but I have to get a smaller bolt right here, or cut straight through the bracket for the headlight. But I don't want to do that, so I'm probably just gonna get a smaller bolt. Yeah, take one. And then over here too, has a little gap, but nothing I can do. I already kind of cracked it, trying to fix it. But <laughs> Tim right here, kind of cracked it, cause you know. So hard to kind of lay down all in one spot. They say AAP sponsor him. AJ, make some one piece wheels already, please. 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 Because <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then also right here, I'm probably going to cut it like right here so it goes with, close with this better because, again, another gap. Which is okay. Nothing too noticeable, but like I said, I'll cut it and then. At least we got one piece on, and then I tried cutting it with this, but the metal tooth in so it doesn't cut. And then, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Damn, that's that disrespect. I'm trying to snort this. That disrespect using the AAP sticker to sweep up. I'm not sweeping, I'm about to snort it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I tried using that, it wasn't working. It was making the cut super, super rough, so then I tried using the Dremel, and then it was taking way too long, and then my neighbor came out with some old school shit. He literally cut the whole fender with this. <laughs> Here's the fender. He's part of the fender. He literally cut this whole thing. Look at that. Look at that. Cut this whole thing with scissors. So, there it is. Nice and wide, you know. I still, gotta, I still gotta fix this part, but what I think I'm about doing since I kind of saved these two holes down here where this piece, see where this piece was, uh, these two little clips, these two little clips used to go in there, so I kind of left it in there. So I'm gonna put a bolt and a nut through it, and then just get the side skirt out and then bolt it through and then hold it down just enough to where it meets the side skirt nice and flush <coughs> but yeah all right now i'm gonna get started on the other side once i done for now like i said i gotta switch this bolt out just take a smaller one because it's literally pushing in the headlight and i don't want to drill into the headlight and then high condensation all over the damn headlight but anyways oh. <laughs> all, right. I'm like, all right so i did the rears sorry i didn't record it but you know, it's my first time doing it, so it's not the best thing ever, but I do have to sand this one down. Because if you guys look, it sticks out way too far, you know. I tried everything, but it's just the way that, let me show you guys. The way this is made, it's like made too far, so I gotta sand this part down. Like, I don't know, maybe like an inch or something around there to make it flush with this part. Because it looks, honestly, it looks horrible. And then right here too on this one. I gotta sand it from the inside again. But anyway, so I'll cut this rear one. I don't know if you kind of see it, but I'm gonna try to get a flash in there. But on this one, I don't think you can see it, but I just cut slits and I just bent it in. Cause honestly, I don't have anything to seal it with. So 
I just kind of bent it in and it looks a little cleaner, you know. And I just cut that part out, but I'm gonna seal that part later on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch that up, of course. I'm gonna touch everything up. But like I said, I just bent that up, so I'm not cutting anything either. And of course, you, you can have to cut a little bit of your bumper. And then, yeah, and then drill holes. And then also, I don't know if you guys saw that I had the uh, washers on here, but it just looked way too fat. And like I said, it looked like shit. So I like this little rivets. Now it looks a lot cleaner. You know, it doesn't look so fucking bulky. But like I said, this is the only thing that's. Oh fuck! I hate seeing this right now. But that's for another day. I'm gonna send it down, make it look you know even, and then go from there. But also, it has a gap right here. You know, I lined it up with this line so it goes with this. You know, this kind of goes goes with it, but. There's gonna be a gap and then right here too, you know, as much as I try to make a flush, it's not gonna happen, you know, just the way the kit's made. The other thing against them, they do a pretty okay job, you know, but it's not the best. And also right here, uh, my bumpers, like, since I used to air out, my bumpers used to stick out a lot, it kind of fucked up, kind of wore out the, uh, the bracket. So if this was pushed in all the way, like how it should be, then it would be flush, but that's not gonna happen. So, like, like I said right here, it's not going to be perfect. So, I can't do anything about that, fortunately. I could probably send this one down a little bit. Yeah, I could probably send that a little bit to kind of make it flush with that part. But right here, it's just nothing I can do about it. Because it's, it's the way the bumper is. And then, also, like I said, it's just the way it's molded, I guess. It's so hard. It's so hard to fit. But, overall, not that bad. Like I said, just a couple tweaks here and there. The fitment, I mean, honestly, I've seen this as a Super Jet car, so it looks pretty good. I love it. I'm just waiting, you know, like I said, sand that part down, wrap it, and then put the fat all wheels on there. And then, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this side. Still gotta do this side, but I'm gonna leave it for next week. It's, uh, like I said, if you guys want to get a kit like this, kind of have, like, be ready. For all these little imperfections, it's not going to be perfect, like I said. I looked on their website too, and then some of these panels are kind of look, they look exactly the same. So, there's nothing you can do about it, you know, unless I take it to a body shop and have them fine tune it or fix it or whatever. But, uh, what's it called? It doesn't bother me. It bothers me a little bit, just that part mostly. The little part is sticking out. You guys can see it from here too. But that part bothers me the most. Like I said, I gotta send it down, make it as flush as I can. Hopefully, it goes in. But other than that, it, I fucking love this kit. I'm not gonna lie. So thank you, Mint Rider, for sponsoring me. Like I said, you know, you guys could use a little more tweaks in he here and there. But other than that, if it's pretty fucking nice, I mean, just look at it. It just flows with the car. That's what I love. I love this part mostly. Cause when I get some fat little tires, you know, you can see the tire design and then from the back, same thing, you know, from the back angle, you know, big old fat old tire here and then meaty ass tire in the front and then it's just gonna whoof. And then the big ass turbo, whoof, it's gonna look fucking clean. But also, it's another thing I did. Took the turbo off, I, did, I sent it out to Comp Turbo. Nothing's wrong with it, just I wanted to do T51 Armad. In the meantime, so I did that, 251 Armad, and then also I got the wheel painted gold. I was like, might as well, you know, since I'm doing the wide body kid, get ready for next year's, uh, what's it called, show season. So I did that, I also got the CAE show shifter. It hasn't came in yet, still has to be made and shipped out and all this shit, so. If you guys know Sky, OAG, he has it. It's the one that kind of takes that part out, you have to cut a little bit, and then just like a super short throw shifter. Pretty cool, I love it. But yeah, I mean, of course, if you open the door, you're going to see all these rivets and whatnot, but something you can do about it. It's just part of the wide body, but who's going to be opening my door, really? But yeah, guys, uh, can't wait for me to finish this next week. And then, like I said, on um, I'm going to get my turbo back, put the shifter on, put my clutch in. I also ordered, uh, what's it called? Uh, I also ordered... um. Torque solution motor mounts and tranny mount 
and then so I'm gonna go back to get tuned and shoot for more power. Of course, the mouse is not gonna do anything, but just you know, the drivability is gonna be a lot better. But yeah, guys, uh, catch you guys next week, and let's finish this. All right, guys, so next week. Ah, fuck, I don't want to do this, but I fucked up. Yeah, fucked up the wide body. Well, not the wide. Well, the wide body itself, but a little bit here and there, but. That door one's not fitting correctly. So I saw in pictures this part it's supposed to be flush with this, but you guys can tell it's not. The other side does match up perfectly, kinda ish. But this one, if I put it this one, put it more this way, then this one goes all the way up here, and it just needs some major modifications. So I wanted I wanted to do it myself, but. A lot of shit I don't know, and also, like I said, <sighs> cracked it right here. Cracked this little piece of fiberglass of the wide body kit, just a little tiny bit. It doesn't do anything, but you know, just kind of bummed out about it, you know, because like this one was warped as well. So, for me to kind of push it in, it just freaking cracked when I tied it in there, anyways. So, that's one thing, and you get it fixed. So. I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna do the other side because I can already see hell going on. So, like I said, I mean, look at this piece right here. I mean, look at me wrong. I love the white body kit itself, but I feel like this should have just made it a little bit better. This, look, this is supposed to be straight. See how, see how fucked up that is? Look, let me put it in real quick. Again, line it up. I don't think it's gonna be this bad, but. Look at that shit. I actually probably can't tell, but it overlaps that. The gas tank is overlapping, so I don't know if that's gonna open all the way. This is sticking up like no tomorrow. So just little imperfections, you know, here and there. Like, you know, I, like I said, I love it, but just something I can't personally do. I'm not experienced enough and I don't wanna trash this more than I already kind of did. Pretty sure they're gonna have to patch some holes up that I made and make it better, but I'm gonna take it to the shop, DMT and SoCal. I tried looking for shops out here, but what's it called? I don't trust any of them. They don't look like they do this type of work, so I'd rather take it to someone that I know, cause my, one of my buddies went there and he got his wide body kit on. So I'm gonna just take it out there, have them finish it. And why not finish this side of course and it's just like so many little things i wish i could do it i wish i knew how to do it but it's just one of those things that unfortunately i don't know how so yeah i'm gonna have to take it over there and like i said that door is probably gonna be fucked <laughs> probably gonna have like patches here patches there but it's okay you know we're getting it wrapped i told him just to get it ready for wrap i'm gonna see how much it would charge to get it painted but if it's too much then i'll just get it wrapped but Anywho, hope you guys use this video on one not to do. <laughs> so, if the kit's not fitting perfectly, then I would suggest don't even try it. Because you know, I just wanted to go ahead and try it. I mean, whatever. Like I said, it's just body work. That's going gonna, gonna to need to be done. But in the day, at least it's not like something major. You know what I mean? At least I didn't like have like frame damage or any of that type of shit. You know, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty, pretty sure pretty pricey, but it is what it is, guys. You know, I'm gonna be blunt with you guys. You know, a lot of things that I try to do myself sometimes doesn't come out as I wanted to, and then sometimes I need help. But for the most part, all this part, engine wise, suspension, all these other stuff, I can do, no problem, no issues. But when it comes to body stuff, yeah, I'm not the guy for it. So this one's a complete fail. <laughs> Fortunately. Like I said, the wide body kit was made a little a little better, you know, like all the pieces were made a lot a little better. I don't know if it's just for me leaving the wide body kit in, inside my back seat, because I don't like leaving that out because sometimes my dad grabs shit and he moves shit and then I don't want it to get damaged. I don't know if I cause it to get damaged by leaving it in the back seat or if it's just like that, you know. I, I didn't bother checking when I first got the wide body kit. I mean, there was some imperfections because I only mounted up the left side, I mean the right side, 
when I put it on. And it wasn't too bad, you know. Like I said, the only the back piece was kind of bad and whatnot. But like I said, I don't want no more of this happening or more holes, to, uh, more holes in there, and then it's just never gonna line up. Because if you guys could tell, like honestly, like if this one gets pushed down probably a little more. It matches with this line, but it's not matching because, you know, as much as I try to bend it down, I don't want to crack it. So, like I said, it's going to need some major modifications, most likely. So, probably it's going to be a hefty uh, price tag, but like I said, it's all right, you know, as long as it fits well. I know this, I know this uh, company is going to do good. So, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I know, I'm sorry. I wish... Like I wish uh, I could have shown you guys more on how to put it on and whatnot, but it's one of the things I do not want to mess with. I said, I already fucked up one piece. I don't want to fuck more. So <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, such a headache. But like I said, guys, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. You know, once it's all done, and they'll tell me what they fix and what they have to fix, and I'll show you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna be blunt and real about this. I don't care. You know, we all fuck up. Uh, you know, there's no perfect text out there, I guess you could say. But, you know, some, some sometimes people have more knowledge and other things and whatnot, more experience. I, unfortunately, I don't have any body experience. Like I said, YouTube make it seem sound, make it look so easy, but it's not that easy. And... So anyways, guys, that's enough for me talking. Like I said, I fucked up. And, you know... Start that hate comments. I don't really give a shit. Um, but yeah. You know, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. I mean, <laughs> hello. I'm living and I'm learning to not roll fenders. Well, not pull them out so far because then this happens. And plus, don't use a phone book because that's, that's also what happened. <laughs> the fender roller I was using uh, gave out on me the little threads on it. So I had to use a phone book and you know, air it out on it and then. Look. So that's how that happened. Same thing on the other side. This one's just for me area now and just fucked up the fender. But like I said, we're cutting these off anyways. That's why we're going white body. But yeah, learn from your mistakes guys. That's the only advice I got for you guys this time. Just learn from your mistakes. Don't let it get you down. No shit happens. If you fuck up something, don't worry about it. You know, there's always a fix to it. Except, you know, death. There's no fix to that. But everything else, there's always a fix. If it's car related, there's a fix for it. You know. Unless it's total. If it's total, then count your losses and go another way. What's it called? I'll keep you guys updated in the next video. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. You guys support me even though I fucked up. Give it a thumbs down. You just don't give a shit. I don't, I don't care either. Uh, but yeah. I'm excited, you know, I'll take it down next week, so I'll bring you guys along with me and that real little road trip, bring it down there, and then, um, yeah, that's about it, so, peace, so don't forget, like, subscribe, deuces.